Why talk about cults? Simply put, they do harm. They manipulate people. They thought reform them. They make them willing servants, slaves. And as a result, they become exploited. Their time, their mind, their money, physical abuse in the extreme, physical and sexual abuse. So yeah, those are good reasons to question cults or organizations with cult-like characteristics. Characteristics that are seemingly signs of a dangerous organization. We should criticize these things. There's no doubt about that. Because if we don't, who will? Maybe some radical individuals who think everything's a cult. Is it a cult? Some people confuse the two terms, cult and occult, very different things. Some people just say, oh, anything that isn't the true Christian path or the true Muslim path, that's a cult. It's not a true religion. Just pull shit out of your ass, why don't you? But yeah, yeah, basically, the real definition of what a cult is, is more to do with potentially harmful characteristics. It's based around the ideas that many cult experts have come up with. It's not purely the definition of, oh, what's a cult? If you go by that, a culture is a cult. Oh, we have a culture which is cult-like, but so what? We have fashions, a cult of fashion. Strange beliefs, oh, it's a cult. No, I'm more concerned with what's dangerous or potentially dangerous, what's harmful or could lead towards harm. Some things that seem quite benign are harmful. A belief in healing can lead to harm, where people don't go and see a doctor don't go and get proper medical treatment. Instead, believe that, well, the preacher with their healing techniques can cure them of their ills. Potentially harmful. Well, they believe in that, but they're gonna go and see a doctor and get medication too. That's probably a better way of thinking about it, surely. So you might be quite far gone, you might have a very devout belief, but you're gonna keep on going to see the doctor when you feel ill. I think that's sensible. This is the reason why we have regulations on certain practices. So things like complementary medicine, Reiki as a complementary practice, you practice it alongside actual medical science. Oh yeah, the Reiki healers will still claim it was them that did it. Oh, someone claimed to us when the doctor said they couldn't do anything and their cancer went into remission. Yeah, but they're on cancer medication to make it go into remission anyway. You're not the one doing anything, but you're just gonna claim the credit. That's potentially harmful because then people will think, right, I need to just do this. It works. It's been shown to work. And it's, you know, I believe in it. So I'm going to go for it. And they do that and they end up dying prematurely. Shameful, isn't it? But yeah, really a bit of common sense. When people are extracting huge amounts of money simply because they claim to be a prophet from God. Well, I have a problem with that too. When people are saying, well, we live in a free love group and the guru should get all the pretty girls and even pretty boys on side. Yeah, that's exploitation too. The big problem is exploitation. They use thought reform techniques, these various potentially dangerous cults, and then they exploit people because they brainwash them. And that's the thing I have a problem with. You can believe in ridiculous bullshit. You can believe in fairies at the bottom of the garden or UFOs that abduct you at night, if, if you so wish. Believe in that if you wish, but be sensible, be reasonable, and for goodness sake, don't get pulled in by complete and utter nonsense just because you're told something must be the case. Think about it, folks. Think about it.